today I kind of wanted to share with you my top tips for styling bigger guys. And if you look at me, you already know that I'm a big guy, so who else better to give you tips than me? Now, I ain't no style guru or anything like that, but I just know what looks good and I know what works for me. I've seen a lot of tips online and in magazines and some of it I agree with, some of it I don't. So what I decided to do today is compile my very own list of tips for styling bigger guys. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So before I even hop into this, and this goes without saying for anybody, be yourself. Don't try to be anybody else. And in that, be confident in what it is that you wear in your personal style. A person can tell from a mile away if you're not confident confident in anything that you're doing in any aspect of life so own what you have on own it and love it and don't worry so much about your weight now and just be confident in this moment and love you for you that's a word that is a word so my number one tip and it's my biggest pet peeve know your size and wear your size please I think a lot of the time, and I used to be guilty of this myself, we think that if we wear bigger clothes, it can hide things about our bodies that we don't like. And no, it adds that much more visual weight to you. So by wearing bigger clothes, it's making you look bigger. And by fit, I mean actually fit comfortably. So don't wear clothes that are too tight either. You don't want to wear a shirt that's too tight where the buttons are pulling and look like they're going to pop off if you breathe the wrong way. So know your size and wear your size. And that means actually going into the store and trying things on. And that brings me to my next tip. I know a lot of the times, fellas, we try to go in the store and come out like as soon as possible but I recommend going in the store kind of with an idea of what you want to look for but pick up a couple of things that you would never wear and don't just pair it with something that you already have on find something else in the store and, and pair it with that to see exactly how it will look in an actual outfit that you would wear it with try on everything really <laughs> try on everything you never know what works for you until you actually try it out so I know a lot of times we'll actually find something that fits and we love the way it fits in one place but not the other like if you find a shirt and it fits perfectly it lays perfectly but the sleeves may be too long find a tailor everybody has access to Google so Google tailors in your town and find somebody that can shorten those sleeves for you actually tailor those pants take them in a little bit so during my first few years in college that's when skinny jeans for guys started to happen and i wanted some so bad and i wore like a size 42 pants then and they didn't sell skinny jeans over a size 36. so what i decided to do was well first i tried to actually learn how to sew myself i ruined like two pair of pants going in and um yeah so i don't recommend that but i eventually decided to go out and find a tailor and she was able to turn those pants into skinny jeans for me so and I recommend that for anybody regardless of your size you want clothes that fit specifically for you and a tailor can do many many things so finding a tailor is definitely a major key this may be like a personal style thing I just say say no to neon colors like and the reason I say that is because I just I, I just am repulsed by neon colors I just really feel like like neon neon's meant for highlighters and not clothes so, um, yeah, we can just keep this short and just say no to neon. It just, just, just no. <laughs> no neon, please. So my next tip is to layer, layer, layer. Like, I feel like layering adds just so much more dimension and style to the outfit. So, for simply like stacking, maybe like a button up shirt and a jacket or a cardigan, it just makes things look 10 times more fashionable. I don't necessarily like my arms, so maybe I'll wear like a button up shirt and like a jacket to kind of camouflage the fact that I just hate my arms. I really do. So by simply layering, you can camouflage parts that you don't necessarily like. My next tip is to accessorize. Like, add stylish pieces to everything. Fashion is all about detail details and adding like a necklace or a bracelet or a watch to your outfit just adds so much more dimension to it. One of my favorite accessories is a hat. I was watching this YouTuber earlier today and I feel like he was preaching to me like he just said something so profound. He was like you don't want people to look at you from side to side. You want them to look at you from top to bottom and by wearing a hat or adding a hat to your outfit it adds length so it makes you taller. It's like simple little details that just make the outfit just so much better. So just just accessorize please. Accessorize people. Accessorize accessorize and while we're on accessories that brings me to my next tip facial hair let your facial hair grow in now i'm not saying be all wild with it keep it nice and groomed but let your facial hair grow in because what facial hair does it actually makes your face look a lot slimmer it's kind of like contouring for women when they do their makeup because what it does is it breaks your face up from your neck so a lot of times that can eliminate things like double chin um and just like bigger jaw lines and broader jaw lines so your your facial hair actually is working for you and not against you 
I get it, clothes for guys are not cheap, but it's so important that we don't compromise the quality of our clothes. You want things that are gonna last longer than like a season or two. You want things that are gonna last a couple of years. And cheaper clothes tend to have cheaper quality fabrics. We have areas that are rubbing together a lot more than other people are having rubbed together. And I had an embarrassing story when I was working at this portrait studio. I went down to get lower to take pictures of this toddler and my pants were because they were cheap. And the studio that day was packed because it was near Christmas time and I, that was just so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm saying all that to say that we cannot compromise on the quality of our, of our clothes because they just ain't gonna last, bro. Over the years, I've seen so many articles say that bigger guys or bigger girls should stay away from prints. I think that that's a bunch of BS. I think that a lot of that boils down to personal preference. F what they say, wear your patterns, try things out, try things on, and uh, kind of just see what works for you. Some of my most complimented and liked looks contain fabric so it just boils down to what looks good on you if you like the way something looks on you then by all means wear it and wear it confident and wear it proud as long as you like it that's all that matters thank you all for watching this video i hope you guys liked it those are my top tips on how to style bigger guys and i'm pretty sure i forgot a few so if you have any of your own scroll on to the conversation below and leave your tips there and let's start a conversation if you like this video give me a big thumbs up scroll on down the page a little bit find that subscription button click subscribe and while you're at it, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. I'm on Facebook now. So, yeah, until next time, you watch Brandon Bunch. Bye.